really great update for those that are using solar and Powerwall is Tesla finally has allowed grid charging from the Tesla app. It's very easy to set up. And what this will essentially do is during, let's say if you have a off peak hours, your battery will charge right from the grid. So what's changed? Currently, for those that have purchased solar and Powerwall, when you're buying these together, you can claim the federal tax credit in the prior years. And the tax credit did also apply to the full cost of the system, including the battery. However, in the language, and you wanna to talk to your tax uh, professional on your situation, in the language, in order for this to work, the power wall has to charge from solar. So grid charging was not allowed through Tesla because it would violate getting the tax credit because you're, you're getting power from the grid and not from the sun. So in order for to apply the tax credit to the whole thing, the power wall could only charge from the grid. Exceptions to that were Stormwatch. So Stormwatch is a feature that I have disabled and likely will never use again with this new update. And I have it disabled for a few reasons. The main reason is Stormwatch, if it detects a storm, which there's an integration with the National Weather Service alert uh, for, for only certain criteria. So sometimes you'll look outside and you're like, wow, I cannot believe Stormwatch hasn't activated. It's not so much about what's actually happening with the weather, but with what a third party is saying qualifies and what Tesla qualifies as an event that would trigger this that potentially could cause a power outage then grid charging kicks in so that way in case you lose power and your power wall is not at 100 percent um, that you're safe however if you have peak times like with srp there's demand charges or even if you don't have demand charges and you have really high rates stormwatch can kick in and will override your peak settings and will pull from the grid so it could be really expensive to have this on that was the only way and the only time grid charging was allowed and i don't know the impact of this and if our tax uh system uh, puts that in place. So Tesla's had the ability to charge from the grid, but it was locked for emergencies only, and that was decided by a third party. What's now, what now exists is under settings, if you go up to Powerwall, scroll down. If you want to learn how to do settings, I have a different uh, video for that. For this video, grid charging. So it says enable this when you're allowed to grid charge. Powerwall will use the grid to charge to your backup reserve and for the daily use in a time-based control. When it's disabled, they will only charge from solar. So I have this set as yes. Right now during summer, and this is arguably even more helpful in winter when we have two peak times, but today we have with SRP is 2 p.m. to 8, with APS it's 3 to 7, y'all are so lucky, and others around the world you may have different times. And what happens is we can now use Powerwall which we have been doing, or for some have been doing, is to it covers you during the time when solar isn't being produced. So if I'm trying to not use the grid between 2 p.m. and 8, solar is kicking in. In Scottsdale, our sun sets probably 7.30. And the main production is really done around 5, 6 o'clock. So you'll see even with the charting, and we look at the production for today, the generation significantly starts to trail off and it's starting to trail off now and so by 6 p.m to 8 p.m this two hour window you're getting very little to zero solar so unless you're having a power wall you're pulling from the grid and if you need to run the air conditioning or run your lights your computers whatever it may be it's really easy to go over with what the power wall is able to generate and even if the power wall or multiple power walls that you have them could cover you, they're going to be depleted. And so then, God forbid, a uh, something happens that takes the grid down in that evening and all the way until you can produce solar the next day. Oftentimes, your power wall could be single digits to zero, depending on your settings, or depleted enough where you'll have an outage for who knows how long. And it has to last you now the rest of the evening. So there's a, it's tough because you have to make a call. Like, do I reserve half my battery for outages? Because that only leaves half of it to cover you between six and eight, which will get destroyed uh, using air conditioning or something else. So now what happens with this new setting is at eight o'clock, if my power wall has covered me through eight o'clock, it's down to 20%. I've avoided peak charges, demand charges. Now the grid can immediately start charging the power wall. And in a couple of hours, my power wall is back to 100%. 
And then now in the event that I lose power because of a storm and rainstorms aren't enough to trigger storm watch, unfortunately, most of the time, I now can run off the battery. And in the event of a cloudy day, which we know happens with storms, we need enough solar to offset our, our usage. We need it to restore our power walls. And often that won't be enough during a cloudy day. So now our power walls are pretty much always at 100% because they can charge during off peak and allow us to really leverage the full usage of the power wall and not be dependent on the lack of solar should there actually be a cloudy day or a storm that really depletes uh, the ability to power it back up, which the whole point of that is to help you through a power outage, which we know is happening during storms and storm watch is way too unreliable. We don't have control over it. And it often will be more expensive to rely on that because it will trigger during peak times uh, when we don't want it to. So I love this update. It does say when you are using it, that if you are using this, if I turn this off and I turn this back on, grid charging may have tax implications or may be restricted by your utility. Please confirm with a tax professional and installer before enabling. So this is something where this is very new. It currently works. Other utilities may decide that they don't want this because at the end of the day, this is less revenue for them. So it's something to keep in mind. If you can take advantage of it, great. I would do it for the safety of your family and the fact that I'm still charging it with solar. This is more protection that I'm able to provide when using this feature. So check it out. I found it to be incredibly helpful. Uh, my risk of hitting demand is, is so low now, and I just have much more confidence in the bigger benefit is I can use my power wall as needed to avoid peak charges. And then I can also have a way to charge it back up in the event of an outage without relying on solar the following day. So I hope this was helpful, a great new update in the app, and I would love to hear about your experience and uh, as well, if you're a tax professional or something else, I'd uh, love to hear your thoughts in the comments as well. All right. Thanks, everyone. Take care.